Milestones of this at this time of your career always always mean mean a lot lot to me. I think a lot to everyone. You you go through the ups and downs of a footy career throughout that, that, that many games. You have some great times, you have some low times as well. And I think once you do get to those milestones, it, it makes it even sweeter for probably not just myself, but your family and your, your close mates that have been there um, through thick and thin. And yeah, they're big, and uh, it's great to, to share it with with the footy club, uh, with the guys when you run out. Motors, two bounces, three bounces, gets it to 50, four bounces, 45 and closing, low skimmer, Gaff, goals for the Eagles. I think the thing about my durability is that my, my joints and my ligaments are so stiff and so tight that I find it's actually hard for me to do soft tissue stuff, touch wood. Which, which has helped me so far. But also you've got to do a bit of stuff during the week and a bit of extra stuff, a bit of extra treatment, massage, that, that kind of stuff that enables you to get up for games. Yeah, I think the biggest change in the, in the footy club throughout the last 10 years I've been at, at the club is just the resources and the facilities. We've obviously just moved to the left lane, which is massive, but I think the power that the coaches have given us throughout this time to take the autonomy and the, the power ourselves to improve ourselves as individuals. So. Only the coaches can do so much to improve us, it's up to us how, how good each player wants to be and I think that really improves the standards of training and makes us a better team straight away. Oh, I think guys like Brad Shepard, Jack Darling, Elliot Yo, Scotty Lysett who's now at Port, those guys have been unbelievable support to me and the great thing about footy is it's unpredictable, good and bad. Yeah, it's some really good moments, some, some really bad moments but it makes those friendships um, that you hold dear even stronger and yeah, the friendships that you're going to have for life which are which is so important and the, the real reason why you play footy. He does just that and now Gaff is going to pound the ball forward. Kennedy came at it, able to put it down in front here. Gee, someone was being held there. A player lets it go. Yo, Gaff, the continuing run, the goal, back to a four-point game. The great thing about this footy club is the high expectations that we always have each year. We don't we don't have years where we expect to go poorly or, or low on the ladder. Every year we, we expect to be up there and that's why um, when you miss an opportunity it's even more disappointing. Perhaps you think about it a little bit more on the, the eight weeks we have in, in, in the off season. So yeah, it's always tough. We always expect to go better. Uh, we would have liked to, I think probably Richmond were the best team last year. Uh, we would have liked to test ourselves against Richmond um, in, in the prelim, but it gives us added fire in the belly to to improve. It's not an overly enjoyable go to a shower. I've had a couple. I've been actually very fortunate touch wood so far. My milestone games I've got up. So hopefully hopefully it'll be four from four with 50, 100, 150 and 200. But as long as you take your, your boots and the socks off, I think you can't have your boots, boots ruined. But hopefully it's not hopefully it's not red go to It always it always seems to be, but um, just the light colour and the yellow or the orange would be fine and it's not it's not as noticeable when in the team song when you're on TV when when you get drenched in that colour.